there had been some violence in the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, we had three, three shootings, one murder, and we just figured it's time to speak out about it. Tonight, a push to end gun violence in the Tuscaloosa area after an eight-year-old was shot and injured. It's a rally call to break the silence and the violence. And our Autumn Brace, you spoke to the boy's mother as well as community activists about how they're hoping to gain support for the movement. Those in the Crescent East community say they are tired of senseless shootings, so it's time to take action to help spark change. It's been less than a week since eight-year-old Tidarius Thomas was shot in a car in his own community of Crescent East. Since then, it's brought a renewed sense of purpose to locals as they advocate for injustice, especially amongst each other. Tidarius' mother, Tanisha Thomas, says she is pleading for the person who committed the crime to come forward. I just want justice for my son. And it's it been a lot up on the family members and um, had hard times going back and forth. The UAB, because the transportation we did had, the um, investigators got the truck that had been shot up. Pernisha adds she was not in the car at the time of her son's injuries. However, she says it's disheartening to know this could happen again in the community. Mad, crying, and sad, depressed. I thought my baby was gone. Activists at today's rally spoke of systematic change needed in Crescent East to help prevent continued violence. They have a pride about themselves. They need resources. Their kids need resources. Computer rooms. Things that keep friction off the kids. There's a lot of small things that boost the morale of the people up. You don't have to call the police. And organizers say partnerships in different community organizations can also help further their efforts. They tell me standing in solidarity is the only way to help them start making a difference. It's uh, just one way of communicating that there is a problem. We recognize the problem from all organizations, hopefully by all the different organizations from religious groups, motorcycle clubs, uh, social organizations, SCLC, NAACP, that all of them will pass the word that we got to address uh, breaking the silence and stopping the violence. Now, how Darius' mother, Tranesha, adds he's expected to make a full recovery. For more information on how you can help them during this difficult time, head to CBS42.com. In Tuscaloosa, Autumn Bracey, CBS42 News Local Coverage, you can count on. Autumn, thank